we got all our gingers already. That didn't take too long. We're already at the six. So I'm making pretty good time. Just gonna double check, make sure there aren't any mutant tokens over here. A mumbo token. And we have enough mumbo tokens to transform right in this world, so that's good. Two more music notes. And that should be good. Except we can't break that gate from this side, damn it. That's just annoying. So we have to go out the way we came. I'll try to remember that way. Just this way. Alright, so now we're gonna go do some a spelling game. Spelling's always fun. If I can just remember the way to get in there. Right here. But before we do that, we're gonna go find our shock pad and get the notes up here. And apparently I wasn't on the shock pad those other two times. I just bumped the mic there. There's the glass talking again. So like the like the the sand castle, we need to spell it Banjo Kazooie. If I can find the N. I mean the camera shot makes it kinda hard to find some of the letters. Here's our J. And we might be cutting it a bit close. And the red spaces are the bad spaces. You can't go on there. K. Now we need another A. Geez, this might be actually pretty close. Cause... Okay, I think we got it. Come on, let's get there. Alright. There we go. And the glass has gone on to make a new life for himself. After spending his days guarding that jiggy, he's now off to a better place. Good for him. Alright, so I think it is time. Nah, well, not yet. We're not going to transform to that guy yet. Open that gate so it's easier to get around. I'm just going to check out. Are there any music notes? Yeah, there are. So yeah, I'm not positive you can get up onto these ledges with the uh, pumpkin. So just to be safe. I don't know why they put that there besides to get onto the thing, which you can get on the other way normally. And I don't know what's so bad about that water, but apparently it hurts you. Oh, we got another moment token over there. And we're gonna need 25 in the clock wood, so we have 3 right now, technically, when we use up to 20. Some of the walls have been conveniently knocked out for us to get over there because the rest of it is just like spiky. Got some more music. music. And no, I did not want to use my invincibility. Oh wow, there's just, there's just two. 
In this game, for some reason, you control the first person camera with the with the right analog stick, and that's just inconvenient. And I think I already made a mistake. Not in this world, but we're gonna need to we're going to need to knock out this gate in the in the area with the entrance to this world. And we need to get there. We need to go in there with with the pumpkin. But I think there's a gate there that you need to knock out of the way, and you can't do that with a pumpkin. So I'm just a genius again. I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope there's not a gate there, but I'm never wrong when I want to be. So now we get flushed on the toilet, and Lago, who's also in Grunty Industries, must be a pretty terrible job being a toilet. You get number eight. I mean, we're pretty close to the next couple jiggies. First we need to go through here. There's another jiggy. And I think the next seven notes are in the well area that we're about to go to. They were totally defenseless as a pumpkin, which is never a good thing. But the pumpkin doesn't take any damage from the water, and we could have we, we we can swim in here, but it's a lot harder to navigate. There's our tenth jiggy of the world. And there's our hundredth note. All there is to do now, and something I should have done before, is grab our last honeycomb piece. See, they should have given the pumpkin some sort of like rolling move, like they gave the snowball in Hailfire Peaks and Banjo Tooie. Because I think in Banjo Tooie there's a way to attack with like every form. Except for. Except for the small dinosaur. In. Except for the small dinosaur. In Pterodactyl Land. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember this stuff. And I just fell off the ledge there. Because I'm brilliant. I'm just such a genius playing this game. Alright, so we are done with this world. I'll just go check out, see if that gate's there. If, if, if I don't need to break down a gate, I will... I will show you the next part of getting through this area. If I can find it. But if I do need to break a gate, I'm not going to do it on this video, I'll do it on the next video. And we can't even... Yep, there's a gate there. Okay, no, just, let's just keep attacking me, that's fine. Alright. So, next one I come back, I'll, I'll break that gate down and then come back. See how I did time-wise on here. You gotta stop and swap eggs. 24 minutes, that's not that bad. Let's check the leaderboards. You guys probably don't care at all, but I think it's kind of fun. I mean, I guess my ranking isn't that bad out of a hundred thousand people. But I still like to do better than that. I think once I was ranked like 14th on Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah, not that great. But, yeah, whatever. 
So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for my next episode of Let's Play Banjo Zooey. Make sure to subscribe if you like it, and since I'm just starting out, please leave your comments and feedback. I can use all that I can. Thanks for watching.